Hello everyone! Um, today I need some help from you to help me decide on an outfit to wear. Two outfits in fact. Um, this is for a competition that's going to be hosted in Leeds at a place called The Loft on Thursday the 21st of April and the competition is called The Look of Leeds. Um, it's not really a model competition as such, um, although I will be doing a bit of a catwalk, but it's all about personal style and um, yeah, with the objective basically to be the face of Leeds, to represent Leeds style um, in terms of fashion, hair, makeup, the lot really. Um, so yeah, I'm one of the finalists and I'm really excited and tomorrow I've got my catwalk training which is going to be good fun, um, but I have absolutely no idea what to wear. I've got a ridiculous amount of clothes, I've got like a triple wardrobe in this room, the same in the other full and more um, and I've got far too many things to choose from. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a little video um, and show you the, the outfits I've whittled down so far um, and for you to comment below or go onto my Facebook page where I'll be posting photographs of me actually in the outfit so you can see what they look like um, and just give me your opinion on which one I should go with. Um, so I kind of need to know by next Wednesday so I'm giving you about a week to do that so I'm just after a bit of help please and um, so I've laid them all out behind me so I'm just gonna pull out in no particular order um, so okay so with the day outfit the first choice is um, a cute little dress very um, very me I think so like every day I tend to wear for work a little dress with tights um, so like today I've got a cute little denim one on um, which could be an option I guess um, so this has like got a bit of a puff ball effect which is really cute a little bit of netting underneath um, you've probably seen me wear this in my videos it is a favourite of mine so that's one of the options which I think is cute and very me but not wow or very it's hard because I guess the brief I've been given is to show what the style of Leeds is but I think that ranges from, well it's like any town, it depends where you go and where you shop and the different kinds of people, I, I'm not sure that I can define it so all I'm trying to use is my personal style because I'm influenced by Leeds local designers, Leeds high street, Leeds designer um, the whole range really so I get my influences from Leeds so that's about all I can really go at but if anyone's got any opinions or advice or any guidance then do let me know. Um, another option I've got is another favourite of mine that you've probably seen me wear from no other than Primark which is a cute little blouse. Um, you've seen me wearing this on another video I'm sure um, but I will do photographs of me wearing them so you can see. Um, so I'd probably team that with dark denim. Um, so I've got some jeggings here. Just some dark denim jeggings that are really tight. But they turn up a bit at the bottom. Um, so you can see the ankles. Because um, I've got quite nice ankles apparently. Um, and show those off. So that's another option. Shoes, handbags, jewellery, makeup, everything will will all be done. Um, to match the outfits obviously as well. Um, another alternative I could go with with the jeggings which I, I'm always in is a cute little floral top because again floral is very me. This is a bit of a crop top um, so I would be showing my tummy but I don't mind that. I'm going to make sure I have a spray tan before. Um, and it's cute, it's all the colours I love, mink, coral, greens um, so that's very me as well. Um, hopefully quite on trend as well. Uh, another option I've got is again a blouse, a sheer one which I'd probably just wear a pretty brow underneath that and no vest and I was thinking of teaming this little blouse with some sort of 70s style jeans so I've got some Victoria Beckham jeans here that are in a dark denim also and the fairly flare like as you can see they need a good eye on these, um, with turn-ups, um, but they're really tight on the bum and the thighs, so they're very figure flattering for me. And I thought that would look quite nice with a baby pink blouse. And then the other two alternatives for the daytime look are maxi dresses. So we've got a very casual one here that's like a tan colour. I'll just turn the light up a little bit. So we've got a tan coloured one here, um, which is strapless, and it goes right to the floor. 
is just plain jersey, um, which I can make pretty with lots of accessories and stuff. Or an absolute favourite of mine, which is a maxi dress I got from Warehouse in Leeds um, last summer. And it's a halter, ne halter neck maxi dress, which is the most flattering, gorgeous colours of minks and little bits of oranges and greens and blues, purples. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and that, I think, would show off my chest, my little waist and my long legs. So I'm trying to show off all, even though it's not completely a model competition, I obviously want to show off what I've got. So there's a range of ideas for day there. Um, so whether it's um, a maxi dress, the only concern with that is, like I say, I could potentially cover everything up there. Um, sort of anyone can get away with wearing a maxi dress. Whereas tight little jeans and a little crop top might look quite nice. Um, but again, I'm open to opinion. Nighttime is a little harder for me. I'm 30 now. I don't go out partying as much as I did at all in Leeds. Um, when I do go out in Leeds, it tends to be more relaxed and a bit boring and grown up, as in we'll go for a posh meal somewhere and a couple of drinks afterwards, rather than a big nightclub and party night out. Um, so that's somewhat restricted me in my outfit, because um, I think if I was going out clubbing, I'd wear something completely different, um, like tight little shorts and a little top or something. Um, but it's my style again, so I'm just going to show you um, the options I've got here. I've got another cute little dress, and this is in like a dark grey pewter colour, and it's shiny, it's almost like a wet look. Um, it's got a little bit of floral to it in that it's very thrill, like lots of frills on it and stuff. Um, it's quite short, the hem is all um, oh, kind of messy, kind of All Saints look. Um, that is really cute and quite flattering. So with all these I'd make sure I wear big heels to make it look like night time and I'd do my hair um, probably quite big and my makeup, I'd do my eye makeup really dark and stuff, so you'd be able to differentiate between day and night. Um, another option, which I've worn a couple of times now, um, and it's really flattering, is this cute little dress, and it's um, very now and just right for summer. It's got a cute little tan belt, floral, um, and then it's black and it's netting. You can't see anything, can you? Let me turn it around. So there is layers and layers and layers of netting. So it's almost A-line, which is really flattering. Another option I've got would be to wear some wet look leggings, which I love, so like skin tight. Let me just turn this up. Oh, I guess you all know what wet look leggings look like. So think Cheryl Cole in the X Factor last year, things like that. Um, so with that, I'd probably wear some little black shorts, either plain black shorts or I've got these cute, almost like, it looks like a skirt and it's got baby pink butterflies all over it in a small print. Um, so they would probably look really cool with those. And to top that off, I'd probably wear a black lace top. So it's long sleeved, but as I like wearing, as you know, it's got like a puff ball, cute little sleeves there, so that would be quite nice. Uh, I could go fairly casual in that I'd wear this day or night, this is like a nude slip um, and it's got pictures of little black birds all over it and that's quite pretty, again that could be day or night. Um, but the final choice for night is a dress that's really really flattering and it's in like a gorgeous um it's crossed between I'd say like a deep pink and a grage that's in a mink at the moment. Um hard to see I know without me wearing them but it fits around my chest and then nips in at the waist and it's got its own little same coloured belt and I have got heels the same colour and stuff and I'd wear it without tights or anything just flesh and it just sort of comes out in A-line. So that looks quite classic. If I had to pick a decade, it might be 50s, perhaps. Um, but yeah, there's a few. 
have a think about. Um, I have got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clothes though, so um, whether you think for the daytime I should wear jeans, jeggings, shorts, skirt, a dress, and for night time the same on what you think I should be wearing there. Um, I'm just after all the advice I can get really. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link below about the competition and you can get more details for what they're looking for. But I really, really, really want to win this for loads of reasons. Um, mainly because I've always wanted to be sort of a model of some sort, but I've always concentrated on my career and my family life and relationships and stuff. Um, so it's never been a huge focus for me, if you like, but I've always wanted to do it. And... I do think the fact that I've turned 30 this year is sort of making me sort of driven to, to achieve all my objectives, if you like, as well. So it would be a really nice thing for me. Plus, the main thing is, I'm a Leeds girl. I feel like I fit the bill perfectly because I've had, you know, all my life here in Leeds. Um, so whether it's eating out or going out or shopping... Um, or just looking in the art galleries or going to the parks in Leeds. I do everything in Leeds and I do love it, so it's all genuine, um, which is why I think I should be the look of Leeds. But um, I, I just really need your help, please, guys. So comment below and visit my blog and, and help me out. Thank you.